As the heinous volatility continues here for Bitcoin, the question now becomes, are the bears truly back in full control? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the savagery we're seeing inside the chart right now. <laughs> Grandma's cookies and a bottle of yo ho ho. Yet again, another dump and sell off here inside the Bitcoin chart. My friends, right now, are we seeing what appears to be a macro, longer term, bullish uptrend with some savage volatility along the way here? Or does this more so appear like a topping out pattern before a further plunge deep down into corrective territory? So as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right. So we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and speculative hypotheses on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, sheesh. Bitcoin has completed, at least is in the midst right now, of a bear flag formation playing out to the downside. This does not mean that the bottom has to be in right now, but we are seeing that this swing high here is still tentatively swinging downwards to where it's going to have to find a swing low at some point. Can it be now? Sure, we're going to discuss that because we could see a rebound. But on the contrary, what happens if this is not the end here? So let's let's dive right into the meat and potatoes, all right? So after we had our peak there, you know, up around the $13,000 region, Bitcoin sold off. We found a temporary support and relief reaction rally bounce off this box, which for me, if you are subscribed here, you would know this box used to be green here as this was our range of tentative support for the macro trend. But my friends, we have since purged through this level like a hot knife through butter with a candlestick of doom. And I've now changed this over to red as right now we are still currently trading below this box. And until we get back above, uh, I believe that this entire range here ranging from 10,750 all the way up to nearly 11,200 may prove to act as a tentative resistance range for Bitcoin. Let's get this crypto. So now, things to keep in consideration here. One, on a macro level, we still have a higher high here, right? Which is inherently bullish, right? Doesn't mean we can't just purge below here now, but we still have to understand that if you're looking at the, the large pattern as a whole, right? If we're talking about this swing here, which we will, it's different. But if we're looking at the whole structure here, we have to keep in mind that there still is a creation of a higher low for the time being. This can all change, but as of right now, we still do have a higher low. On the contrary, what we also have to understand here is we do have a lower high, bearish inherently. But this is all very uh, normal, I would say here, because of the fact that we could just be squeezing into a symmetrical pennant, right? And symmetrical pennants are made up of lower highs, and higher lows. This is this is how it works, right? And this is what you see form when you're getting a generally a continuation pattern from a larger trend. An example of this here in the recent term uh, would have been this one right here that I had played to the upside. You see lower high, lower high, higher low, higher low, squeezes to the tip of the pennant, and then you'd get a breakout in one direction or the other. These patterns are typically very neutral albeit they do sometimes tend to weigh in the direction of the overall macro trend, which for me, obviously, right now, ladies and gentlemen, is upwards, right? I mean, we still are on our parabolic uptrend. And right now, if we are consolidating here uh, and building a neutral 
tentative continuation pattern, it would not surprise me to see this continue to the upside. But we, we have to look here in the immediate term, right, at this swing high to current swing low, right? Things to understand here is that one, we did create a new lower low here uh, in terms of the micro swing, right? I don't want you to get confused because on a macro level, we still are creating a higher low at this point in time, at the time of recording. But here on a micro level in here, right? Our prior low after our first dump off was right here at this white line right at about 10,960, okay? That's why I have the white line drawn here. For me, my friends, this getting a bounce here and then dropping back below this line would have been a very bearish signal for me, and it, it in, indeed was. But we did get a little fake out here as well. This market is savage. There was a fake out to a new lower low before a heinous wick back up to just <laughs> the it liquidated a lot of over leveraged traders right there, right? I mean, that is as savage as it gets. They know that the bots are waiting to take short positions upon a new lower low. And then what do you know, ladies and gentlemen? Ding, ding, ding. Chicken wings for dinner. Tofu if you're vegan. Uh, the market movers just come in and absolutely destroy the over leveraged bots right as it breaks to a new low, destroys them, and then it goes right back to business, right? And it, it uh, all of a sudden then does drop off the cliff, which looked like what it was naturally going to do anyway. Let's get this crypto. So more importantly here now, that was the first micro bearish uh, confirmation for me, the confirmation of this flag playing out to the downside, right? And I actually wanted to draw this line here, ladies and gentlemen, for us all here. We're going to take our flagpole, we're going to clone this, and we're going to drag it over to where the breakout point was, okay? And that was uh, right at that white line, okay? Now, if we zoom out here, we could see that our tentative extrapolated measured move of the bear flag, right, to the downside does put us at a new lower low, right? Which would be three lower lows in a row if this were to play out the way that, uh, you know, the tentative extrapolation uh, suggests that it could, right? This doesn't mean that it has to happen this way, but it could, right? Now, if this happens here, this is bringing us into a very interesting territory, okay? I want you to keep your eye on this number here, okay? The extrapolation for me brings us to about 89.50, okay? That's where that line brings us. Now, if we go over to the Bitcoin futures chart here, this is where I'm seeing an interesting confluence. Now, for me, ladies and gentlemen, if you are subscribed here, you would know that I've been pointing out this gap on the CME futures for quite some time. Now, in the traditional market, for whatever reason, gaps in the market do love to fill. They don't have to fill, but they do fill quite often. Now, we do have a significant gap here between 8964 and 8500 right? We also had a gap up here at 10,648 to 10,100. And this gap did in fact fill after we hit our high of about nearly 14,000. We plunged, filled the gap, and now we've had a bounce, right? And now we're dropping again. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't think it'd be out of the realm of possibility, nor, uh, out of the, the realm of normalcy to potentially plunge all the way back down into this region between 8960 and 8500 to fill this gap if we are going to create a new lower low. So let's discuss that, okay? Because we do have that confluence there on the futures chart. Uh, if we drop to a new lower low, this would be another bearish confirmation, which would not only allow human traders to speculate the uh, upon the bearish momentum here, that we've now created a new lower low, lost the macro structure of the tentative continuation pennant, uh, and also we have that gap fill there, which lines up right at about the extrapolated measured move target for confluence there. And also if we do zoom out here, and we'll drag uh, a generic here, a Fibonacci retracement from roughly the bottom of the bear market to the top here. And what do you know, ladies and gentlemen? Ding, ding, ding. Chicken wings for dinner, tofu if you're vegan. We also have a Fibonacci 
confluence around this region here as well. So for me right now, if the Bears are going to continue here uh, to have the momentum and they are in fact back in full control, I am expecting some more heinous momentum here, which really could pick up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and I know that this may look crazy. Oh, Kirby, well, that's so far away. 25% to the downside, Kirby, oh! Well, let's look at the weekly chart now, just to get an idea here. Because the hodlers, ladies and gentlemen, the degenerates, the average Joes and dreams at the water coolers of the world here have all been getting on my case lately about these large movements that I keep saying. I'm just looking at the chart, pointing out what I believe has a, a potential possibility to occur. And when I'm pointing out these large moves, ladies and gentlemen, when I started longing from 8,400 with a target of 13,000, people called me crazy. We went up to nearly 14,000. When we were there and I said we could drop below 10,000, they called me crazy again. Oh, Don Don, you just, you, you. We dropped below 10,000, found a bounce at 9,600. And now, ladies and gentlemen, where we are at here, I need you to understand that if my confluence zone for the bears around the 89 50 to $8,500 region occurs, that this, my friends, would be another heinous drop of almost 20% to an area of significant confluence here, in my opinion. And we must understand here, keep this in mind, that over the past three weeks, okay, these are the last three weeks of candles here, right? We, we have to really just soak this in for a moment. Over the past three weeks, ladies and gentlemen, we have seen up and down volatility here on Bitcoin of roughly 30%. Is that not insane, right? And just on an intra-week basis, right? Three weeks ago, 25%. Last week, roughly 20%. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, roughly 21%. Savage, heinous, and a borderline ludicrous debacle, if you do in fact ask me. Bitcoin is an absolutely volatile beast right now. This is why it's a trader's dream in here. You guys know, shout out to my VIPs. I've been trading this market aggressively, super aggressively right now, and I'm going to continue to do so. So as this volatility continues to pick up here, and we're looking at potentially changing the market structure, as I've shown you here, if the bears are back in control, right? And we start to break this market structure that we've been building here, right? And it breaks to a new lower low and we start to look at more targets down in the corrective territory between 89.50 and 8,500, uh, my friends, you should expect for the volatility to be insane because you generally don't just see anything go down in a straight line or up in a straight line. There's usually going to be recovery rallies, right? Relief rallies, bounces, however you'd like to categorize them. And right now, the nature of this trend has loved to do the crocodile tooth, right? We've already here, just inside this microstructure alone, we've seen one, two, three, four in a row here, four crocodile tooth patterns in a row just within this microstructure after topping out at roughly 14,000. So for me right now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to put on the battle helmet, the mud boots and the trench coat because it is time to get this crypto. It would not surprise me in the least to potentially see some more crocodile tooth patterns here. Uh, it depends how far we go down, right? Maybe we do go test this low level, crocodile back up, get rejected and then plunge and then make another. Right now, all I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, is that the crocodile teeth are prevalent in here and they are an absolute trader's dream. If we keep getting these types of swings, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's grandma's cookies and a bottle of yo ho ho. The opportunities in here are potentially life changing for those that are looking to strike upon it like a cobra out of the grass and get this crypto. I see right right now, ladies and gentlemen, that there are some signs here uh, that the market's going to get very, very choppy. Uh, we have to look here at the NVT, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time. I haven't shown this in a while because it's been irrelevant. We've just still been up in this uh, overextended territory, which we've been in for months on end. But today, ladies and gentlemen, take a look. It went down into the gray zone below 150. Briefly, it appears to be recovering now, but it is flirting with this line here, which historically, the past two times that we've broken this level, we have plunged 
deep down into the crypto abyss. This time, all the way back here in December 2017, for a 74% plunge to the downside. Here in October, or excuse me, in November 2018, a plunge 51% to the downside. And now, potentially here in 2019, are we going to get something similar here? And if so, the reasons I have this level drawn out here is because of a confluence I saw here with the prior support range, then we built right on top of it, right? That's where the dump went down. So I just have a speculative drawing here of, uh, you know, if it were to play out the same way. Past performance is not indicative of future results, but you see what I'm saying. So um, maybe roughly an extrapolated drop of 35% plus from this move down, which would be heinous. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm preparing for a lot of market volatility here, right? We see that the RSI here on the daily as well is currently only at a 48, very neutral territory here. If this market is going to continue to sell off, it would be quite far away for it to even go into oversold at this time. Uh, and we see here as this example back in November 2018, that is also when the NVT, right? I just showed you that. This was when the NVT plunged, right? In a similar setup that we appear to be creating now, right? The RSI here, let's go back to the RSI now. The RSI back in November dropped all the way back down to a nine, ladies and gentlemen, at that point in time. So if we were to perform a similar uh, chart here, if the chart were to play out similarly, we could be due for further movement to the downside on that RSI as well. As I've just stated, we are only at a 48 right now at the time of recording. Let's get this crypto. Um, right now, guys, I'm prepared for another crocodile tooth. Carbonaccio, does that mean it's going up or it's going down? I'm awaiting confirmations here, right? That is the big key factor here, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, we are trading underneath this tentative resistance box here, in my opinion. And Don Don Carbonaccio is looking to strike like a cobra out of the grass and get this crypto when I see that it's time for me to make a play. Right now, we are at the crossroads of changing the macro structure in this trend. Is this going to be the swing low here, right? Swing high to swing low for a potential crocodile tooth up to a new swing high? Or right now, are we only midway down in this swing? And are we going to bring in a new lower low uh, to really potentially test back down to those corrective target zones I just outlined uh, anywhere from you know 9,000 to 8,500? Let's get this crypto. Right now, I'm preparing for all scenarios, bullish and bearish, and I'm going to be keeping you all updated in VIP with every trade I make here. I'm looking to crush this market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can. Do not be taking that trip to Wreck City, ladies and gentlemen. Do not be taking that walk down Liquidation Boulevard with Average Joe and James the Water Cooler. You're better than that. I'm going to be keeping you all updated with every strategy that I personally formulate and every trade that I personally take for you exclusively in VIP. So I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs and shout out to all of my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. Are you going to be the one that does the crushing here or are you going to be one of these degenerates that gets crushed? The choice is yours. Today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto, right? Uh, we have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot of bearish confluence here, right? A lot of bearish confluence. And if we are, in fact, going to plunge, although our, uh, our ultimate target range, in my opinion, could be down in that vicinity of 8,900 to 8,500, 8, I could see that we get another crocodile tooth to the upside here as well. Am I going to long that? Am I going to short that? That is what I'm going to await confirmations for to allow me to take the best high reward, low risk trade setup that I can personally identify here to crush it and get this crypto briefly as well. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to look at the crypto fear and greed index here, the uh, rest of the altcoin market very quickly here, etc. So. The crypto fear and greed index right now, ladies and gentlemen, over the past several days has had a drop off here like we have not seen in quite some time. Two very low readings for the first time in months. Also, in my opinion, indicating that there are some chinks in the armor here in terms of the strength of the bulls inside this market right now. We must be open here to the fact 
that in my opinion, this could be an identification that the Bulls are losing strength here. Just a just the observation from a longer term standpoint here on the crypto fear and greed index. And also, guys, um, right now we're still seeing Bitcoin dominance rise currently at the time of recording at a 65.5 and the altcoin market is getting absolutely crushed. I've been saying it. I believe that right now Bitcoin is going to be still the king in terms of the volatility, in terms of the, the price action for the market as a whole. And if Bitcoin right now is being speculated upon the most via the leveraged margin exchanges, uh, I believe it's going to be very hard for a true altcoin season to be upon us anytime soon. Does that mean that that's what has to happen? No, sure, we could have altcoin season. But in my opinion, uh, I know that all of the big time traders that I, I've, I've seen are focusing right now on Bitcoin. Uh, and I believe that as long as it's going to remain that the leveraged margin exchanges have the bulk of the volume uh, for the time being and the Bitcoin dominance continues to rise, I believe it's going to be very difficult for a lot of these altcoins to recover to their yearly highs here as this trend does move forward. Uh, doesn't mean that they can't, doesn't mean they can't even go to new higher highs. I'm just stating that if the bears are truly back in control here, I believe it's going to be very difficult for the altcoins. Uh, but this presents very, very juicy opportunity here for swing trades in Bitcoin here in my, in my opinion. And, uh, as these potentially life-changing trading opportunities present themselves, like I've already stated, ladies and gentlemen, Don Don Carbonaccio is looking to strike like a cobra out of the grass and get this crypto. I'm planning right now to crush this market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can. And I'm going to keep you up to date in VIP with every single trade I make in real time to the absolute exact second that I make my trades. I post my strategies, my entries, my exits, my take profits exclusively for you in VIP. I can only do these streams here on YouTube once per day, but in VIP, I am posting around the clock 24 seven, 365 as I plot my strategies, make my entries, take my profits, etc., etc. So shout out to my VIPs and shout out to all of my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I'm getting ready to trade this market absolutely aggressively right now. If we break to the downside, you better be ready to crush it. If we crocodile tooth up, you better be ready to crush it. Don Don Carbonaccio is ready to get this crypto. If you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. Don Don Carbonaccio does not fail to plan. Don Don Carbonaccio plans to succeed. So I am getting ready to trade this aggressively, and I will keep you updated with all of my trades and strategies up to the exact second that I make my trades exclusively for you in VIP. Shout out to all of my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. And if you could one last time, guys, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Prepare for volatility here, ladies and gentlemen. Like I've stated, crocodile tooth pattern formations have been the norm here. Are we going to get another one? Are we going to continue our swing low down and then get one? We're going to have to wait and see. Don't get caught like a deer in the headlights here. It's time to crush this market and it's time to get this crypto. I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. And until next time, my friends, the Don has spoken. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.